Indeed. So, fair enough. Snakes, welcome. Uh, okay, welcome. Happy August. This is the month of my birth. It's a great month. Love August. Um, I'm excited for today. Uh, there's a few, uh, always a few new new faces. So you know, just like to to talk real briefly uh, about what we're here for. Um, for some of you, this is review. I apologize, uh, but this is the web user group. Um, I am Reed Linden. I am the product owner of the entire uh, web space. So if it has a dot second life dot com attached to it, I probably own it. Uh, I also own a little bit of the, the back end stuff and I'm happy to talk about those things too. A um, couple of things uh, we do try and stay on topic here. Uh, I will share some uh, updates up front um, and then we'll open it up for questions. Uh, I don't think that I gave everybody homework last week, so no particular homework questions. Um, and uh, I will try and answer all the questions that I'm able to, but uh, there are a few that frequently come up that I'm usually not able to answer. Uh, one of those is governance. Um, I know that uh, we have some of you that would like to uh, talk a little bit about um, forum policy stuff. And unfortunately, I'm not really able to address that, but I did bring somebody who maybe can. Uh, so, Without any further ado, uh, I'd like to reintroduce to some of you Kira Linden, who I actually took over for. So she used to run this not that long ago. Welcome back, Kira. Hey, thanks. Good to be back. Um, so yeah, so governance now falls under, under my umbrella. Um, I am now the support operations manager. And so governance falls under me. Um, Support, all of the support people that you probably talk to if you've ever had any trouble uh, in Second Life uh, report up to me as well. Um, and one of the things that we did recently, um, and, and we knew that there would be some, some discussion about this, so I'm happy to be here today to kind of talk about that a little bit, um, were some changes to the forums that were made. Um, along with kind of changing up the structure a little bit, which I think everybody's been relatively happy with the structure changes. Um, we did implement a new policy um, regarding uh, topics needing to relate to Second Life. And so I did want to talk a little bit about how that decision came about, why we made that decision, and where we kind of go from here. Um, over the last ooh, probably couple of years, um, there's been lots of discussion on the forum. There's been, you know, obviously a lot happening in the world, and a lot of those real life happenings have, you know, been spilling over into the forums as they do, as people talk and bring up uh, different things that are going on in the world. We've always had kind of an open door policy regarding our forums. We've allowed everything as long as it sticks to the community standards in terms of service. We've kind of let those threads kind of go and let discussions happen. But over the last couple of years, um, it seems like moderation has been getting a little tough and there's been a lot of discussion on some some really hot button topics um, and it's made moderating the forums a little bit more difficult than it should be. Um, and so as we were taking a look at this, we saw, you know, everybody's been talking, you know, most of the threads are talking about Second Life and things that pertain to it. And so, you know, we took a look at some other companies and how they run their forum systems and to kind of be, you know, a little bit more in line with what other companies are doing as well as kind of keeping our forums to be a, an open place to discuss things um, that, that don't really tend to exclude other people or don't tend to set off, you know, kind of riotous uh, discussion that kind of devolves into the things that we really don't want to see on the forums we did make that decision to go ahead and kind of say, okay, we really need things to pertain to Second Life. That's why we're here. That's why this forum's here. And we wanted to kind of keep things more Second Life related. There are some historic threads in there, um, some games, kind of game threads. And we didn't want to take those away. They've been there forever. People are involved in those. So we said, okay, let's just, let's just leave those there. But we, along with that, we did kind of add this caveat of, 
you know, we're going to moderate as, as we see fit, and, and we take a lot into consideration as we go through and we moderate different threads. So community standards, terms of service, now we have the forum, uh, the forum participation guidelines in there as well. So a lot kind of goes into it. Um, and so this was kind of the easiest way to do that. So I understand this is not very popular with some people. And I do, I do understand that, you know, this is a community, you want to be able to talk about, you know, whatever you want to talk about. Um, but because of the issues that we've been seeing in the past, we did decide to kind of ratchet that down a little bit and say, okay, these topics really should be Second Life related. That's why people are typically coming to the forums. So hopefully that, that helps explain a little bit more about where that came from and why we went that step. Um, I am completely open to hearing from any and all of you about opinions on that. Um, you, know, you can email me, really simple email, kira at lindenlab.com. Make sure you get the E before the I, because I don't think otherwise it comes to me. Um, but I am totally open to, you know, discussing other possibilities, um, hearing your opinions on the topic, uh, anything like that. So please feel free to email me. More than happy to open those discussions. Cool. Thanks, Kira. Um, would you like sincere? I don't see any questions in chat at the moment. Uh, so if we're good, maybe we can just let that one go. And move along. We got a lot to talk about today. Yeah, the the off topic we did have. Well, we we have we still have that. We have the general um, off topic. Again, we we will kind of fall into those, uh, you know, political, uh, geopolitical types of discussions that are. That, that can kind of get a little dicey to deal with. Topic is derailment. Okay. Derailment. Oops. My chat window is not big enough. Um, so coffee, I do get it. Um, derailment is difficult because we do we do kind of let things go a little bit before we step in. Um, and like you said, many threads kind of do that little meander and derail and then they get right back on topic. Um, we were actually looking at a thread. I don't remember which one it was today, but we were actually looking at a thread today that kind of did that. Uh, one of our moderators said, hey, you know, should we should we call this derailment? We looked at it and we're like, yeah, now they kind of circled back and got back on topic again. So um, we do actually look at those and, you know, consider those those little turns. Um, and as long as things kind of make their way back on, on topic, then we're okay with them. Sorry, I'm just kind of reading through everything. <laughs> uh, whoops.
Yeah, coffee. I, I I get I get your point about that. Um, and I know that those you know a lot of those policies look look pretty scary. We do <laughs> we do weigh stuff a lot before anybody is warned or any threads are closed or you know any action is taken. Um, and a lot of times, if we can, we try to read into the, ta the the statement, you know, intent. What was the intent in there? So we do we do actually have a lot of back and forth with the moderators um, when it comes to you know taking any kind of action in there. Um, You know, coffee. I if you can, if you want to email me and let me know who that was and the details around that, you and I can have a conversation about that one. And maybe there is some tweaking that we need to do. You know, stuff. You know, even though it's written out, it, to me, it's not always written in stone. We can always tweak things. We can always make things better. And getting that feedback from the community, obviously, is of utmost importance so that we can make those adjustments and you know make it make it a more you know more friendly place if if we're sending out notices that are freaking people out and you know are driving people away we obviously don't want to do that that's not our intent so you know definitely you know let me know email me you know what you know if you have if you got that from someone or if you got it yourself shoot it over to me and uh, we can take a look at it Yeah, thanks. I mean, and, and I mean that that goes for anybody. If if you have questions about the new policies and anything, you know, or you have suggestions, I am totally willing to you know take those in email, and uh, we can talk about them. And uh, I'll take them up with the team, and we'll see if there's anything we can do to either implement that or something that might be a little bit different. Or if we can't, I will definitely let you know that as well. Yeah, and I understand that our, that for a lot of people, your identities extend into real life here, and sometimes they're completely different. And I'm not saying that nobody has opinions or are not entitled to their own opinions. What I'm saying is that in the Second Life forums, there are certain topics that that just don't need to be here, right? They just they just kind of cause uh, more um, uh, more friction than they need to be, and those are conversations that are better had elsewhere right uh, whether it's on your own social media or it's in world talking to people you know we can go in world and have those discussions uh, I realize not everybody's online at the same time so um, but there are certain certain conversations that just don't need to be on the second life forum in particular I think that last part's a really good point and I'd like to actually kind of double down on it if I can um, we as a company, as Linden Lab and Kira and I uh, specifically, are extremely committed to making sure that Second Life itself is a forum for free exchange of ideas. Uh, we will never come in and tell you that you can't talk about, you know, uh, things that are important to you in Second Life. Um, there are obviously some, you know, abusive type type things uh, that you know we we will frown upon, but. You know, if you're having, you know, just want to talk about stuff in, in Second Life with, with your friends and, and with people, uh, you know, that kind of thing, that this is the place for you. Um, as a company, Linden Lab is extremely dedicated to that. Uh, it's baked right into our DNA because we all feel the same way. Forums require moderation, so it's kind of a different, different world.
Jin, it's not any mention of real life. It's it's more of you know how it relates to Second Life. So the topics that are brought in there should relate to Second Life or Linden Lab uh, as a whole or or Tilia even. Um, those that it needs to relate in there somehow, right? Not just you know oh you know something's happening in real life um, and you want people's opinion on it for for example. Um, that's something that, that should it doesn't really relate to Second Life, and that could be talked about anywhere else. Um, so I don't want to take up all of Reed's time. But, um, like I said, my email is up there somewhere uh, before all the questions. Feel free to email me if you have questions or if there is something that you want to see on the forums or if you have a suggestion. Um, coffee, um, I'll wait for your email because um, I really am interested in taking a look at that. Um, but feel free to email me. It's kira at lindenlab.com um, and I'll be happy to, uh, to answer your emails. So I will toss it on back to you, Reed. Thanks. Uh, and I just wanted to clarify, um, uh, Sila, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly when I said yes, uh, what I was trying to say yes to is the question, you know, can you talk about homophobia and sexism uh, in SL? And you can, um, absolutely. Like, you know, here in SL, please uh, have that conversation. Um, yeah, just want to make sure that we, you know, the, the, the things that are not, right, like we will crack down on abuse, right? Like if you are using homophobic slurs against somebody in SL, we will absolutely come after you probably. But if you're just talking about the topic of homophobia, you can do so in SL, absolutely. <laughs> so what else is new indeed? Uh, okay, cool. So thank you, Kara. Really appreciate it. Um, Kira kind of came in as a as a last minute. Uh, I had asked her to uh, to join us today, um, and and she did so out of the goodness of her heart. So thanks, Kira. Thank you. Bye. Cool. All right. Uh, so moving right along. Um, July has been a super busy week for, or a super busy month for us. Uh, so let's get into some of it. Um, if you haven't had a chance to peek around at um, uh, Premium Plus yet, uh, we're still doing a bunch of stuff uh, with regards to Premium Plus. We're still adding uh, new features pretty much every week, uh, or you know, tweaking some things, bug fixing. Um, and that's been a big portion of the last month. And I did want to, if you haven't seen the blog post, I, I do want to go ahead and reiterate that up until next Monday, so August the 8th, uh, you can still take advantage of the discounted monthly price. So right now, the monthly price for Premium Plus uh, will be $29.99 going forward. Uh, but for the next five days or so, you can get it at 25 bucks, uh, so 24.99, um, which is you know kind of a nice savings. And then if you want even more savings on top of that, then and to make me specifically super happy, you can sign up for an annual membership, uh, and then I will I will squee with joy. Um, but that that'll lock you in even more savings. But uh, yeah, if you're if you're still on the fence and you've been wanting to to try it for a month, uh, highly recommend that you do so in the next week. Uh, before Monday, uh, and then everything will change and we'll go back to normal pricing. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, we're, we're adding new stuff, and if you go, this hasn't been announced yet, but I'm willing to kind of sneak it out right now. If everyone goes to the name change page, which is, I believe, oh, no, nope, not that one, hold on. That's premium. Make a G link. I have it. I have a link. 
Maybe I don't have a link. I'm going to find a link. Name change. Change name. There it is. This one. Oh, give me an MFA challenge. It's not what I want. You know which one I'm talking about, though. Accounts.secondlife.com backslash change name. I'm just going to write it. See, this is what happens when I try to do this on the fly. You Thank you, Hope. All right. Everyone go there. Tell me what's new. Yeah, price. That's a big one. What else is new? Fun challenge. Yeah, changing last names. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Pantera wins the prize. Well done, Pantera. Uh, so this is huge. Um, not only are we discounting uh, name changes for premiums and premium plus. So before you, it would cost you 40 bucks. Uh, so premiums have gone down and premium plus has gone down significantly all the way down to $15. But from here on out, uh, if you are a base user, you can take advantage of changing names. So no one, no one will ever be stuck with resident as their last name if they don't want to um, ever again. So this has been something that, that we've wanted basically forever. Um, uh, Lucy, the pricing schema is on the page, but I can give you real fast, uh, basics at $49.99. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Hope. That's even better. <laughs> Indeed. Wow. Uh, I don't think the VAT is new, Kitty. I think VAT has always been applied to name changes. Same thing with, um sales tax here in, in the U.S. If you're subject to it, then it will be applied. But yeah, um, when did that go live? Hey, Lucy, great question. Look at your, look at your watch. Uh, it went live, let's see, just about two hours ago. Uh, and the blog post for it will go up in about four minutes. So you're getting like hot off the presses. Just happened. This is my favorite thing that I've been able to do in the last week. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Get, get all the glory. Go, go, take screenshots. Don't tell them I sent you. Pretend that, that you, uh, you found it all by yourself. So that one's big. Um, we've also been working on um, kind of, uh, we're, we're continuing to, to do upgrades uh, in the background. Those aren't fun, those aren't sexy. What I really want to talk about today is search relevance. Uh, so we have been talking about that for the last few months. In fact, maybe even most of the year uh, thus far. And uh, if you remember last month, maybe the month before, I had said that we had implemented um, our uh, relevance uh, kind of engine and I kind of want to talk about some of the things that that has given us um, because it's now been long enough that we're actually starting to see some results. Um, and these, these results are, are really exciting for me um, and, and are indicative of what we're going to start seeing going forward. Uh, so there's a, uh, a fun little um, exercise that we went through uh, in, you know, kind of in my circles, uh, you know, within the lab where we were trying to figure out all of the ways where web search just kind of wasn't working uh, very well. Um, and we were running into things like if you searched for Apple, lowercase, and you searched for Apple, uppercase, 
you would actually get two different search result sets, um, which is obnoxious and dumb. Um, <laughs> uh, or if you searched for, uh, I don't know, off the top of my head, let's go with Matreya. Um, you would have to scroll multiple pages to get to the Matreya store, for example. I am happy to report that if you search for, for example, Matreya, guess what's the first thing that's going to come up? Boom. Um, and that's all due to our relevance engine. It is finding these things and uh, noting what all of y'all are searching for and what you're clicking on when you actually do search it and making those search relevance results go up. Um, so as time goes on and more searches are, are going through and as we collect more data, this thing will automatically be making search more and more relevant over time. Uh, and it's already starting to do that. Um, some other cool things that we're getting, uh, you know, exact matches are going right up to the top. Uh, the case insensi insensi insensitivity that I was talking about before. Um, you know, so now if you search for Apple lowercase and Apple uppercase, guess what? You get the same results. Um, we're starting to work on things like fuzzy matching, uh, which is going to make things a lot easier for uh, basically all of us that are like me that can't actually type very well. Uh, or, you know, people who maybe English isn't your initial language. Um, that'll help. <laughs> we won't punish you for that. Um, but yeah, like we're, we're moving forward and we're starting to put in some, uh, some even more data collection uh, in terms of, you know, things like of the search results that were listed, how often do people choose things on the front page? Um, you know, or how often do they, they start scrolling so that we can start feeding that back into the engine as well and continuing to make it even more relevant. Um, so this has been something that we've been working on for six months and we hired a whole contractor to come in. Uh, you know, half the team's been working on it for basically the whole year. Um, and the fact that we're starting to see some results out of it is extremely exciting. And I did want to share that stuff with you. Uh, and kind of say, you know, like turn that back in your direction and say, like, what have y'all been seeing? You know, is, is it is is you the actual anecdotal experience um, from from your side matching what I'm talking about? Does it seem like search is working better? Lucy says no. OK, well, that's helpful. Uh, Pantera, good question. Are the search results somehow moderated before the relevancy being assigned? Um, I don't think they're moderated. Can you explain more what you mean about moderated? Lindell, yeah, the annoying notice, that was another thing that we got. 
Uh, my boss in particular hated that little notice. Uh, it was all over me. I mean, not that I liked it, but it became something of a amusing conversation between her and I. Uh, Lucien Hope, uh, I I'm sorry that we weren't able to fix that particular issue. Um, we can kind of look into it. Lucy, can you talk more about that, though? Are you talking about web search or marketplace search, or...? Because we haven't done stuff to marketplace search yet. Ser web search and marketplace yeah, search are two different things. Marketplace is next. Spoiler alert for future projects. <laughs> Fair enough. Good clarification, Kali. Jenna, uh, night mode unclear, but uh, variants. Ooh, everybody ready? I'm going to do it soon. Um, we are we're, we're working on what we are now calling styles, uh, hopefully by the end of this year. We have all the infrastructure in place for it. We just need to update the, the front end. And at the moment, it's on our roadmap for this year. Uh, Hope, yes, we are still looking at a new marketplace that is the year of 2023. Uh, if I have my druthers, 2023 will be the year of new marketplace. That's what I would like to see uh, us do and concentrate on as our major initiative. Uh, Ariel, how is it coming with web mobile type viewer? Uh, it's coming. Um, I, I don't really have any good, good update there. I would say it's coming slowly. Uh, there's, there's a lot of struggles going on with that. That is not a straightforward project. No, I don't have any in, any hint what it would look like. I mean, there's there's a few that already exist, uh, right? That are that are third party implementations, um, and you know, what, one of the big struggles that we're having is you know whether you we partner with one of those or try to build something in house. And if we try and build something in house, will it be as good as you know? Uh, these other implementations and then if you know if we partner with those other implementations right like you're paying by the hour with those so there's just a lot to work out there um, yeah Lucy you're on it um, with speed light uh, it, you know we're, we're still in conversation with them but um, you know at the moment I have nothing new to announce It might be like Lumia. Um, so, you know, the, the interesting part here is that while I, I do uh, product manage, you know, all of the things that are kind of in the SLCOM domain, um, amusingly, web-based viewer, I do not. Uh, so I actually don't have a really good insight into how that project is going. Um, it's happening more on the, the viewer side, even though they're sticking their nose in my my web stuff all I really have is company scuttlebutt Yeah, and it looks like Garfield has officially uh, volunteered to be the advocate for 
resident accessible search APIs. So great, it's something I don't have to do. Ah. I'm kidding. I will also advocate for that. Want to see what that looks like? Lilani, that is a good question. Um, in in short, the answer is like kinda. Um, it it helps boost it, but kind of at a static level as opposed to a dynamic level. Um, and I apologize for being a bit ambiguous there, uh, but you know there are certain things that we want to make sure that we're not allowing people to game. I know, I know. Coffee, good point. We're we're actually doing that. We also feel the same way. We need to get together more. Share notes. We're working on that. Sorry about all the noise in my background. Uh, Lucy, yeah, live traffic readings. That's exactly what I want. We're, we're still working on that um, because, oh boy, uh, is that a tough nut to crack? Um, doesn't seem like it should be, right? Uh, it seems like, oh, you know, just ping the simulator. Like, there you go, bunk. Tell me how many people you've got in there. Throw it in the search result. Uh, the problem is that the, the search results index, um, you know, at a, at a particular rate and we we need to do that we can't have them index every time somebody clicks return on search uh because our whole system would crash uh we are now indexing much more frequently than we were before um you know before it was kind of like well yeah it was i think it was once a day um so we're we're moving toward a more frequent clip of of indexing but yeah, until we can get that closer to real time, um, getting real time information on traffic is uh, a white whale that I will continue to uh, to chase. But it's right at the very top of my wish list. Uh, I think that that unlocks, oh, oh man, all sorts of fun stuff, uh, particularly for you, new users. You know, all of us here, we've all been around. We know where we're going. We know what we want to do. We know where people normally hang out, and we know who we want to hang out with. But if you're new and you, you know, search whatever, something that's interesting to you, and, you know, like the show up at a region and it's empty, that's no fun. Yeah, exactly. You know, it says that there's a lot of people here. Well, yeah, but maybe not in your time zone, right? And there's no way to really know that at the moment. 
And that's super frustrating for me from a product manager perspective. So I am also wanting that. Alani, exactly. Discoverability is difficult. And unfortunately, we're not doing ourselves a lot of favors. Um, so, you know, one of the things that I, I continue to push for and will continue to push for is making discoverability easier. Uh, it's, it's not one of those things that you're ever done with. Um, but I, as far as I'm concerned, we've still got a long way to go. It's a double-edged sword, isn't it, Lilani? Um, you know, the 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 answer to to that problem is getting, you know, everything more standardized, uh, right? You know, like if if you don't, I mean, to put it bluntly, like user created, you know, user generated content is the reason why everything is kind of complicated. Um, you know, the, the easy way to, you know, make your UI straightforward, the easy way to, you know, make creating an avatar straightforward, the easy way to, to do all that stuff is to, you know, make everything known and standardized. Um, but the moment you do that, right, like user created content is what keeps Second Life going. Uh, it's what makes it cool. It's the reason why you bring people here in the first place. Uh, so, like... It's a fine line to walk. Um, and, you know, candidly, we haven't solved that. Uh, I mean, I, I, I hesitate to even call it a problem. I mean, to me, it's something that we, we celebrate. But it does mean that, you know, as a result, somewhat necessarily, you know, our product is complicated. It's, it's tough. The, the learning curve is high. Um, and trying to, trying to dumb it down um, means that you lose some of the cool stuff too. You know, at, at, at the end of the day, what makes special, you know, Second Life special is is kind of that special sauce, right? Like that, the fact that I'm sitting here with a, you know, penguin avatar, um, wearing my you know, my, my, uh, my, my pride stuff. But, you know, also I have to figure out how to sit in this chair without it deforming my avatar. <laughs> but it turned out I couldn't figure it out. And I've been doing this for 11 years. Uh, Lilani, has Linden Lab considered splitting the viewer into two distinct modes? Uh, yeah, we've considered it. Um, we, we've also then rejected that. The, the gain is, is not... What, what you lose is, is too... It's too much. <laughs> Yeah, Persephone's on it. Uh, Lucy asks if we're close to Q&A. I think we're in it. What you got? You got 12 minutes. Hit me. Text email to you if A. 
what is the good word on that? Uh, well, I have no word on that. Um, that is that is still kind of lingering in the on the back burner. Uh, I was able to get uh, 2FA onto the viewer now, so you know the next step is to make it not require an app, um, you know, a third-party app, uh, which would be you know phone or or email. Uh, but that is the next step, and and I don't I don't at the moment have that on my immediate roadmap. No, I don't think it's pricing. It's just other things that we've got going on. Uh, Naya, your question is, I'm going to, I'm going to paraphrase, um, but basically, you know, uh, our, our various, um, you know, prompts to, uh, ask you to choose your starter avatar, are they permanent? And the answer is no. Um, that is part of an ongoing, um, let's just call it like a never ending experimentation. We are learning things as we go uh, and we'll continue to do so we will continue to refine so no that is not permanent think of it more as something we're trying Petunia, I'm not sure what the context for that question is. Do I have a pick? Maybe you weren't talking to me. I'm going to find these snakes. Where are the snakes? Where are you, snakes? Is it snakes or is it the rooster that she's on? Or the chicken? Oh, there's the snakes. Ah! Mars has the snakes. Do sound like Darth Vader. Mars is very snaky. <laughs> and Mars doesn't have a voice dot, so doesn't know that we're talking about him. He doesn't know that I am. Brutal.
Kali, I have no homework. None to give people. I am bad and I feel bad. I was not prepared. Which you'd think I would be, right? Got a whole month to prepare for this. It's been a busy month, everybody. Reed Lucy's been asking what updates we did to Premium Plus in the last couple of weeks and if we have any upcoming ones. Uh, well, let's see here. So uh, the name change support is one of the, the really big ones. Um, we've been largely trying to correct uh, various um, kind of bugs that kind of came with the rollout. Um, things like you know, there, there was no support for the, the quarterly, um, you know, quarterly subscribers on the, on the initial page. Um, and you know, other things like the 90 day transaction log wasn't, wasn't populating the way it was supposed to. Um, as far as like new features and, and new cool features for, uh, for premium plus, uh, I think the, the name change discounts, the, the big one. Uh, in the last couple of weeks. And then um, as far as going forward, um, we also are looking at implementing special VIP regions um, for the for Premium Plus. We just updated the, the grid to handle that. Uh, so that infrastructure is in place now. So now we just have to go create them. Um, that's the moles do that. So I don't um, I'm not really sure what their timeline is, but uh, do, do, do. I don't know. What am I missing? My brain's fried. Was there something you were thinking of, Kelly? Um, what's no? I mean, there's a thing I'm thinking of, but I don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> whisper it quietly in my ear maybe lucy thank you for the report on the auctions by the way I got the whisper. Do you want do you want to say it, Colleen? Go ahead. Okay. Uh being able to select your linden home uh, automatic automatically without having to go through support is on the roadmap. Yeah. Maybe not everybody knew that. Just because you knew it, Lucy. You know everything. Uh, Panther, yeah. You can, in fact, right now you can do that. You just have to work through support to get it. Uh, so you'd have to, you know, like send a support case uh, in and say, I want this Linden home right here. I am premium plus. And they will give it to you. Um, what we'd like to do uh, going forward is let you do that directly through the website without having to get support involved. Uh, it will require a fundamental uh, rewrite of how all of land store works. So not soon, but yeah, on the roadmap. Yes, Premium Plus, that's correct. That is one of the benefits of being Premium Plus. Uh, Lucy, no, the $15 name change for Premium Plus is not through support at the moment. Come on, I said this at the very beginning. It's right there. It's on. It's on the page. You can do it right now. Go. Thank you, Hope. That's kind of an interesting stat, Lily. Or 
Lilani, we can we can try and ask and get somebody to say, but I don't know. Any total assets in Second Life? Woo! Yeah. Who wants to take a guess? We'll do it like a gumball jar. Closest. Hope I'm trying to give out unicorns to everybody anyway. But sure. Jenna, no, I don't think we could do beta grid. I mean, I think it would have to be grid specific. Because that's, we would just say main grid. I mean, internally, I think it might be interesting for us to kind of know what's going on in the beta grid. But as far as making, you know, calling it out and, and making product decisions and stuff like that, I think the only one that really matters is what's on the main. Three point five trillion assets, okay. Delani's on, on record. Somebody at the end's gonna do like a prices right and just do like a one. Yeah. Ooh, user row. Uh you should submit that uh through Jira. Pretty pleased with Chagrin Top. If you have a translation error, um, that would be super helpful uh, for us. And uh, it would also be helpful if you can um, supply what the translation should be. Jira, please. I won't remember any of that. Uh, let's see here. Are we at the end? We're at the end. It is 3.02. Happy August, everybody. Thanks for sticking around. Um, thanks for keeping it civil. I appreciate that. Um, I'm glad we were able to hear from Kira at the beginning. I will see everybody in September. And if some point, at some point during this week, you... Uh, you feel like it. Raise raise a toast to your favorite penguin. Cheers. <laughs>